Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of all the mods gravitas and today well let's get our excavator up and running So as you guys can see our little diesel generator over here is at full like 24 buckets so it's, it's filled with biodiesel and there's still a plenty of biodiesel here I might just make like a deposit or like a tank here something uh, something to hold the the excess. I'm pretty sure that's that's what I should be doing right now But it's it's quite all right because I don't have the Ways to use this because this makes HV and if you take a look at the HV Recipes these guys take aluminum and I do not have aluminum and this is why we need the excavator now the excavator today is hopefully gonna bring us two of the missing ores we don't have uh, which well one is lead and the other one is aluminum but i want to try lead first why do i say try well i already set up like this line of power that goes all the way to that native silver excavation now from what i believe even though it doesn't really say uh if you find one of these which in order to find one of these you need well one or of two things the first one i'd say make the mineral surveying tools this of course takes a little bit of fabric which can be hard to get at the start because it takes quite a little bit of wool but trust me you'll need this when you get to this point you'll need this so save up some wool for this because you're going to be needing it then what you want to be doing is just running around and right clicking the floor and as you can see it's gonna pop out a message down around here and it tells you that it just found traces of salt peter now you can find pretty much everything in terms of ores you can find one of the coveted cave light or you can find graphite with this which if you don't have a lot of it and you need tons of it for some reason if you can get to this point well, you can just find it pretty easily. And I actually found like kimberlite, graphite over there. We have cassiterite. I have a lot more points, by the way. I just disabled everything. You can see I found some more cryolite over there. We have some silver over here. This is like our minor villager. Uh, and we're, I've been exploring a little bit of the map, you know, uh, a little bit. This area up here was searching for lead. This area over here was searching for lead until I realized something. But someone over on the Discord, like one of the mods, told me that uh, apparently you can get lead from native silver. And that's why we have a native silver vein right over here. And you're looking at this core sample, you want to know how to get this. Well, this you get with the core sample drill. This is one of the reasons why I brought the power here, was so that I could voice down the core sample drill and just power it. You right click it, it's gonna start drilling and it's gonna put one of these samples, which you can just shift right click on the floor and it's kind of cool. You know, it, it allows you to place a lot of it and as you can see, I placed a few of them. So I could kind of gauge like where I have all my silver at. Like for example, here it starts to turn to highlight and I really don't want highlight. Uh, but I was mainly looking for lead. But what I didn't realize is that I... Oh yeah, there's, there's no mineral here, it's a stone. <laughs> uh, but what I didn't realize uh, is that in order for me to get lead, I just need to mine where the silver is. Like, where the silver is, because it's it, it's has a chance. Natively, it has a chance. I believe I'm not able actually able to find a lead vein. So hopefully I didn't forget anything. I even brought enough things to build up two extra water wheels. Cause this guy, which you can see here in all its glory, and it's it's quite big. It's literally quite big. He looks like this as soon as he's is is built up. So yeah, it's gonna take a while to build. But if you take a look at what he uses, yeah, he uses four thousand flux per tick. I do not have this power generation yet because the diesel generator is not yet working. So ideally we would have started with the cryolite we have over here, but I'm going to try out this here because I really want to find out if I can get lead. Well, we have the wheel. Now I, I'm not sure if I need to place the other guy 
in any specific like direction concerning the the buckets okay i do so yeah i did it right so this is the side that i actually want my machine to be so yeah it's gonna be up to this side it's where the buckets kind of have the opening so this should be okay and it is oh oh yes it is done i just need to build up the two water wheels and i'm gonna turn this guy on well we have movement it's it's not much but it's honest work oh the good part of this being slow is that you can see the the items being picked up with the bucket though i believe i have not yet gotten yet nothing i have that's like the first bucket we have like three possibly four buckets when that one reaches the the ground level uh it's making some noises probably when this guy yep there you go oh wait did it voice anything no it didn't uh that was me okay it's coming ah uh, yes gravel all i wanted guys it's exactly as i expected we have led now can i somehow double this i have a chance i have a small chance of doubling it i can also wait for more i should probably wait for more uh oh what's that oh that's silver okay that's silver but we have lead lead if we cook we get the lead ingots we need four to make one lead gear as soon as we have one lead gear we can make one machine frame which means we can make a whole bunch of different machines now i have to see which which one of these i actually need the first i was kind of looking into the redstone furnace because yeah as you can see we can turn rod of flesh into leather we can cook a whole slew of things mainly this one we can use power to make charcoal which is we technically don't really need right now uh because we have the the lava so we can just blow something into it uh, we can cook all of the ores we can cook food now so what, something i notice is that if you go into the nether to kill a hogwin you get like raw beef from normal minecraft and that really you can't eat it because it has no buffs so please fix it because i really really would like to have that food huh i thought this would not work but apparently the lv wire still works so it's still it, it's still powering it uh it is draining quite fast because i have no no supply of ethanol like no supply because i i haven't hooked up this guy to work uh but but we have lead coming so as soon as i get more lead maybe we can hook this guy up and have this thing always running hopefully and guys we have lead finally 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 we got our hands on lead so the first machine i'll be making is the pyrolyzer this guy is incredible why because i can turn coal or lignite or bitumous coal into coal coke but it has a chance of giving me tar this is boostable boostable i'm pretty sure it means that i can somehow have something to well boost it uh but yeah and it also give me creosote oil if i use either wood or coal but it will give me crude oil if i use bitumous coal oh wait coal actually can give you oil apparently uh, the oil will come in handy when we have the distillation tower so we can turn it into lubricant or kerosene or sulfurized diesel i believe what i want is a sulfurized diesel so we can then put it through a high pressure refinery unit so we can get ourselves well diesel and the pyrolyzer has power not a lot of power but it has power uh now this brings me to the next part i believe even though we have quite a lot to to dig out over there uh i i've proved my point like I, I found lead now i need to make everything around me faster so we gotta make this guy constantly be working on because we need the ethanol and i also need aluminum so i can turn some of the cables to high voltage 
also i know nobody said nothing about this yet but please please put this in more packs i want to punch all the grass without getting my inventory full of seeds you don't know how satisfying this is to me like it's so so satisfying i can run around doing this all day every day really i can there goes sale number two well i moved the excavator right over here next to our house so we could actually get some cryolite going and already got a little bit you know and i've been crushing it so i can get aluminum grit and also a little bit more chance of actually getting more and of course i just cook it and i got aluminum now the next thing on my quest i should say is actually uranium and i'm looking for uranium for a particular reason because i want to have these guys like powered by this guy all the time but the problem is this guy cannot get enough like diesel supply so he doesn't have a fast enough diesel supply as you can see uh the issue with that is that i don't have ethanol uh but ethanol is still a problem but not quite as much as an issue as seed oil because seed oil is be going down which means i'm making more ethanol than seed oil uh, but seed oil well i just I just only have a single garden close here so i can just make another one but i got four garden closures over here with potatoes and this guy is still not enough because he doesn't have enough power on his own like he cannot burn through this thing fast enough that said i think he's now starting to well, get rid of some of this uh but i'm not sure uh but he does not have enough power and how am i powering this guy well i moved the water wheels uh that were down down over that way over here so they're now powering all my machines here i have this one we had the second sale and i made two thermoelectric generators and I have the lava block, which is on the Ignis extruder, also powering these two thermoelectric generators. And I have blue whites, which means that this guy is actually like producing a pretty good amount of energy. And the only way to make this better is if I replace the lava with a uranium block. The uranium block is the like hottest block. Yeah, I guess it's the hottest block you can say and to get uranium we can find a uranite uh, basalt vein uh, i have not found a single one of these and in case you're wondering if you go into the book if you just type the book and you type mineral deposits yeah you will see how you can use the excavator and like of course the survey tools to find in the excavator to dig and the core sample to do it and then if you keep scrolling you'll find well, that if you go into the nether you, you can mine for all of these things like literally all of these things uh but then you find the overworld veins like if you try if you find a bismuth shulk this is what you can get from that bismuth shulk right so if you keep searching for it you'll find all the ores you can mine and i'm looking for the ones that actually have the small chance of having uranium now i found pretty much all of these i ignored pretty much all of these as well uh but the one i'm looking for uh cavionite chalk by the way this is actually a pretty good one if you find a cavionite chalk because it gives you cavionite normal magnetite and normal limonite so this is pretty good to get iron and cavionite in the same one uh but the one i'm looking for is this one lignite claystone i'm pretty sure i've seen this i'm pretty sure i have but i don't remember where and that means i have to go and try and find this again uh because this has a 9.09 percent chance of finding raw uranium uh of course it has a bunch of a, a bunch of lignite uh but the one i really want is the uranium or you can also find it in lignite shale as well and if you keep looking you can see all where you can get pretty much all the other ores as well and this is actually one of the ways you can see how you can get lead because you find it in natural silver and silver ignites for example there's a chance i think it's all silver has a little a little bit of a chance uh to get that so if you find natural silver 
you probably can get you you most likely can get the uh, out of there you can get the the lead but the best one is literally the last one which is a uranite basalt which has a ton of uranium raw lead and rich hematite i really wish i would have found one of these by by now but i haven't well unluckily for me i have no lignite with the proper uh well ore and then i guess it's not even ore it's like stone yeah so i have to go looking for it so that's that's really not gonna be fun but i'm super super low on iron and i'm super super low on copper right now luckily for me i have like an copper area here so a copper vein here and i have like an iron vein right over here which is pretty pretty good but i will not able to upgrade these guys just yet but if i put my excavator here like probably like something in the middle where it kind of picks up the two ores like iron and copper i can start getting in some iron and some copper and i can actually do a few more of these which hopefully fixes the issue with this guy and if i keep this guy always powered i can upgrade my system over here because i kind of need to fit this into the building so i kind of need to expand the floor a little bit more uh, i also need to bring the press over here the charger over here like all of those things that are just laying there in random places they need to be brought here the blast furnace needs to be changed i need to start building up some walls which i was kind of hoping for this guy to oh there it goes yeah to actually start giving me tons and tons of wood which he has been doing and i've made a couple of storage crates the good thing about these storage crates is that you can just break them and you can take the inventory anywhere you want so it's basically a choker box pretty pretty good and it also functions like a barrel which means you don't need you no need to worry about covering the top of it so like for example if i was to place this here then um, the chest the chest still opens i think no it doesn't yeah it doesn't because it's a full block yeah but you don't have the issue with these crates which is kind of nice so i kind of need to start using this wood for decoration and make a little bit of some more chests and yeah with all that said i think it's all the time i have for today guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i've made a lot of progress even though like i wasted a lot of time off camera just searching for a lead vein and you kind of you kind of have to use a silver yeah i should have researched a little bit more now i know so let's get into cracking hopefully next episode i have a pretty pretty area to show you guys like the pretty factory over here and of course a lot lot more to show so hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe heaven and see you in the next one bye